You don't want it. This is beef, is it? Yeah. I've come to this community on various occasions. Occasionally I was met by larger crowds than this, but they were not necessarily uh, as welcoming as this one. <laughs> Sometimes they had, you know, banners and placards and various things. I have to say that it, I do have a very special uh, feeling for uh, the North, and, and I have a very special feeling for this community. And the qualities that, that we, all see, we all see in this community, we all know about this community, that is that, yes, we, we've had setbacks, and we've gone through periods of time of great growth, and then all of a sudden the, the, the basis of the growth gets pulled out. Uh, companies and industries that we thought were going to be here forever suddenly, you know, are... Are, are facing a challenge and facing difficulties and people have to respond to that and then pick up their socks and say how are we going to do this again how are we going to how are we going to build and rebuild the uh, the city and the community and i can tell you right now stephen harper does not have a monopoly on power and the people around stephen harper are starting to make exactly the same mistakes about thinking they're going to be there forever as some liberals made a few short years ago and the people of Canada are going to teach that team a, a lesson just as surely and as strongly as they, as they taught us one. It was a very famous former mayor of Toronto who was a good friend of mine, a great liberal, and a very, very funny man named Phil Givens, who once told me in a voice which I can hardly imitate because he had a very high-pitched, very unforgettable voice, and he used to call me, if you'll pardon the expression, Bobby Baby. That's what he used to call me, Bobby Baby. And he said to me, Bobby Baby? I said, yeah, he says, in politics, you don't get what you deserve. I said, no, he says, no, you get what's coming to you. <laughs> and it's important to remember this. We all know in our hearts that we got what was coming to us. But we also know that the same medicine it's going to happen to others. Because, you know, it's, it's very ironic watching the Conservatives and the NDP in the House and elsewhere. They really do think that they're entitled to be where they are. And that somehow this is the product of some great wave that is because of them. Well, that's not the case. Politics is much more unpredictable than that. It, it is, it's, it's a different business. And you have to understand, you do, if, you, if you really think about politics in the right way, it teaches you a real kind of humility. Because you have to understand that, you know, what, I'm an interim leader, right? But so is Tom Mulcair. And so is Stephen Harper, an interim prime minister. Nobody's there forever. And we all need to understand that we have to go back out and talk to people and earn our place again and earn the trust of people, and earn their support. And we have to learn how to do it in new and exciting ways that deal with the technology of the times and that brings everyone together. And I think we can do that as a party. I think we have the capacity to do that. I think we have the ability to do that. And I think we have the spirit to do that. And if we have the spirit to do that, then we can win the next election. But we won't win it by thinking it's going to suddenly fall into our lap. And we won't win it because we think that the other guys are just terrible. We have to do more than show the other guys are terrible. We have to show the Canadian people that we have a vision of what this country can look like. We know what the economy of Northwestern Ontario can be. We've seen the bad stuff. We know what the good stuff can look like. And we know what it takes to get there. And we also know that if you want to make it happen, you have to be prepared to build it. You have a vision, you persuade other people to share your vision, and then you execute on the vision. And that's called leadership. That's what you do. And that's what our party has to learn how to do. And that's what our party needs to, needs to bring to the table. 
So I want to thank all of you for giving me a chance to, to do this job for two years. It's been a fantastic experience. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you all very much. It's great to see you all. Uh, thanks, everybody, for, uh, for coming. Thanks to the riding associations. See, two riding associations working together. Who would have thought that could be possible? It could be done. It can be done. It can happen. It's great to be here. Thank you very, very much.